What's up, everybody? Uh, welcome back uh, to Road to Pro, it's episode 23. So it's kind of a, uh, I guess a, uh, I don't know if you say a good welcome back, a sad welcome back, a disappointed welcome back, right? Because obviously, um, if we're back here today, it's because the Road to Pro continues. So as most of you who follow or have followed the Road to Pro, you saw that last weekend um, we were unsuccessful at achieving the goal of becoming a professional bodybuilder. But <clears throat> as most of you know, or have come to know uh, throughout this Road to Pro, adversity is nothing new to me, and it's, it, it's not something that's going to deter me from my goal or to force me to just give up. And I hope that's a lesson learned to most of you, you know, because life isn't easy. Uh, the things that come easy usually don't last long or aren't really worth it, right? So for me, uh, coming off of the loss, it's a loss in my mind, right? In most people's mind, maybe a top five finish is a win. But to me, uh, with it being the fourth time I finished in the top five, it's a loss, uh, especially when the goal is to be number one so that you can get your IFBB Pro card. But uh, coming off of the loss to me, um, it's really just a lesson. It's another lesson. Lesson learned on uh, just understanding the way that the sport works and understanding that there's a lot of guys competing for one spot, right? So just, I guess, a little background on the, on the show itself. Um, a few things. I would have to say that that was the most stacked show that I've ever been a part of. I've been a part of now 10 or 11 bodybuilding shows. And that one right there... I mean, from top to bottom, for the most part, was the most stacked I've ever seen. So I know that my classes were, like, ridiculously stacked. So I remember getting in line for my master's class, which is a class that uh, I have the best chance of going pro in. Um, I got in line, and there was only, like, 10 of us, but I looked up and down the line, I was like, oh, my gosh, like, there's 10 killers in this line. So there was 10 guys in that line that I was like, I could lose all of these dudes almost. <laughs> there was a few I knew for sure I was going to beat, but I was like, man, there is some heat out here. These are some big boys. Obviously, I have pretty decent size for myself, but I never see myself as a big guy. I always see myself as a small guy uh, in the lineup until I look at the pictures and I'm like, oh, I'm just as big as everyone else. But, yeah, that was pretty stacked. Um, I will also say that I did a few things wrong uh, in that show. Right, so I can't say that my body was wrong. We did the most perfect job prepping for the show, for peaking for the show. All those things are perfect. But uh, I decided to wear a pair of shorts that was a tribute to my mom. And I've worn before, but at the end of the day, they weren't the most, um, I guess, <clears throat> they didn't bring out the best of my physique. And I say that because of where they sit. So I have a short torso. So I'm six foot one. Well, they list me as six foot and a half, but I'm six foot one to six foot two. But I'm all legs. So I have a very short torso. So realistically, uh, if my shorts sit up high and they sit right around my obliques, my waist looks pretty blocky. So if you notice in most pictures, videos, anything that I actually uh, post, I wear my shorts or my pajamas, whatever they are, pretty low, just above my pelvis area, just to give me a longer, elongated torso, and it gives me an additional cut from my obliques down into my below the Adonis cut. So that gives me an illusion. The sport is all about illusions. So going into that show, I didn't really pay attention to that. I never paid attention to it in my life, really, that the where my shorts place really changed the whole look of my physique. Um, but I wore those shorts, and they sat higher. Than, I, than they did when I wore them last year. So they sat right on my oblique, right below it. So my waist looked freaking huge. Um, and then I made a posing error. Like I have never, I've ran through my routine and my posing 1,000 times. I did it like 20 times over that weekend. But in the heat of the moment, I flared my arms out. I didn't stand up tall, I leaned forward. So I just gave myself a terrible look. Um, but, with all that being said, if I would have done everything perfect, I still would have lost. All right, the guy who <clears throat> the guy who won my class was phenomenal. I mean, he won 40 and over and 35 and over, and he just looked phenomenal. 
He was big, good muscle maturity, huge chest, chiseled abs. Only thing that I could have possibly beat him in was my back might have been a little bit stronger than his. But overall, the dude was legit. So, uh, was I disappointed? You're fucking right I was. Did I feel like I failed all of you? Of course, because I felt like, you know, all of you guys were expecting to watch that season finale of Road to Pro and see me walk across the stage of IFBB Pro. And I felt like I let a lot of people down because of it. But at the end of the day, that's life. You don't always achieve the goal that you're uh, trying to attain in the first try, second try, third try, fourth try. Who knows how many tries it may take. But the true definition of a winner is to get your ass back up and keep going. So that's exactly what we did, right? As soon as that show, at, after the prejudging was over, I knew that I wasn't in the top. I wasn't in the top two. I thought I was fourth place, but I ended up finishing fifth. But I knew I wasn't top two. I knew I wasn't number one, which is what I needed to do to win uh, the pro card. I text, my, I text Ariel, and I said, I'm going to go eat. And then I told him, so, dot, 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 dot. And he said, we're masters. We got to do it. So that puts us... Less than two weeks out today. (laughs) Yesterday was two weeks out from the next show. So that's just the kind of mentality that I have. I mean, I'm not going to quit on this shit. I mean, you know, it's tough. It's tough on the mind. It's tough on the body. Everything about this is super, super tough. Right? Like, taking that loss was super tough. Just because, like, I felt like my body was the best that it's ever been. I felt mentally I was in the best space I've ever been. But at the end of the day... There was another person who was in the best space he's ever been in, and his body looked the best it ever looked, and he was fucking better than me. <laughs> so you got to accept that, All right? But only thing that we can do is get back to the drawing board, work that much harder for the next two weeks, and try to be undeniable with the next one. So do I feel that we have a, that we're a favor going in? You're damn right I do. Uh, after the show was over, I walked up to Tyler Maney, who's the head judge. He knows me exactly who I am, and he's like, you can do Masters and that's in two weeks? I was like, yeah. He was like, come in tighter, get a better chest pump, open up your back more on your back post. I was like, those are easy fixes. There was nothing that he told me that was a long-term fix. He didn't say, hey, Angelo, your shoulders are too small. Your lats need to be more rounded. Your lower back is underdeveloped. Like nothing that I need to take an off-season for to fix. All things that Ariel and I can fix in two weeks. Which, we walked away, and Ariel showed me a video. He's like, realistically, look at your chest pump. It was full. Conditioning was on. We wore the wrong shorts. You didn't pose right. But honestly, guys were better than you. <laughs> so one thing about Ariel that's dope is he keeps it 100 with me. He was not about them bullshitting games. Like, he told me straight up what it was. So I can appreciate that. So, here we are today. <laughs> it is fucking 6.55 in the morning on a Thursday. And we are literally filming the next Road to Pro because today I have to drive to Dallas to go coach basketball while working. And I was in the office yesterday, so I mean, the Road to Pro don't get no easier. But guess what? I ain't got no quit in me. So we're going to hit some shoulders today to keep working. Uh, today is a shoulder day for us. And uh, we're going to come in tighter. <laughs> my posing is already – we've already improved my back pose. Um, my front pose, I'm going to Dallas today. I'm going to work with Antoine Witherspoon, who's one of my posing coaches. going to help me fix my front pose tomorrow morning. So we got a plan for it all. <laughs> we're going to work and we're going to perfect things so that on the 21st of July, we're walking away as an IFBB pro. Now, coincidentally, July 21st is the show we're supposed to do in the first place. I mean, when we, co- when we opened this road to pro, we were supposed to do July 21st in Pittsburgh. That was the goal. We jumped the gun and did universe because we felt we were ready early. Hey, sometimes things happen for a reason. Maybe we're supposed to be a pro in Pittsburgh. It was the original plan. So we decided let's do Pittsburgh. We can give one more try this year. Now, guys, I will tell you this. This is the last try for the year. If we don't make it in Pittsburgh, then, hey, we'll go into offseason, improve again, and try again next year. I can't live my whole life in prep. <laughs> like, realistically, I just can't. Like, it's time to take a break. So, you know, after this show – We'll uh, readjust life, figure things out, and enjoy some some life. We only have a month left of the summer at that point. So best believe we're going to do a little eating and drinking. But until then, we're going to keep our foot on the fucking gas. One speed. That's it. Full speed ahead. 
All right, so let's get after this workout today. Let's, uh, I'll show you guys what we look like at the end of the workout. Um, I definitely feel like we came, we're, we're already a little bit tighter than we were going in the uh, universe. So things are getting better. That's all we can do is get better. So this morning we woke up around 216 pounds, which is right around with the weight that we left at. And we still got a week and a half. So we're going to come down a little bit more, probably be in the 214s, a little bit tighter, uh, and really ready to knock this one out the park. So catch you guys in a minute. Dry scoop game. Fucking early. Got to get this energy. Hit this hard-ass workout. Time to go hard. Almighty AirPods, a way to get through every workout. All right, so for today, I'm only gonna change some things up just a little bit. Just on this workout tip, like uh, I'm taking shit a little bit back, back to where I'm from. So those of you who don't know, I'm from South Central LA. So it's time to get ugly with these workouts and shit. It's time to like really grind. We got two weeks to push to the limits. So today, we're gonna go with my boy YG, YG Essentials. So, back in the day, I didn't fuck with no blood or nothing, but right now, it's all good. This heat we brought out today. Another day, another shoe that's never been drawn out. So today we got uh, Jordan 13. He got game. So if you ever watched that movie, he got game with Ray Allen. You seen uh, his dad, fresh out of prison, throw these hoes on. But yep, he got games. Jesus Shuttlesworth, it's go time, baby. Right, guys thanks for joining for another episode of road to pro i'm hoping we just got two more to go and we get that almighty pro card but for all of you who have already subscribed thank you if you haven't three buttons like subscribe turn on notifications 10 a.m every sunday we come to you live so this sunday next sunday and then after that it's after the show that's it that's it for the season no matter what contract is up all right we out